Hey everybody, welcome to Stock Markets with Bruce. Uh, thank you for uh, following my channel, subscribing to this channel, and giving my videos thumbs up. So I really appreciate it. Love your comments too. It's all about Carnival. We're going to talk about Carnival Cruise Lines this morning because uh, here we are, November the 10th, 2020, the day after a major run on the markets. And um, the uh, cruise shares had a wonderful time of it yesterday. Uh, in the case of uh, just Carnival alone, uh, Ray jumped over 30% in price in one day. And this is all because of the uh, hope and excitement of the possibility that a uh, vaccine for this uh, COVID virus uh, may be perfected. Uh, Pfizer came out with some uh, some very happy announcements. The market took it to heart. The Dow started off yesterday with a gain of 1,600 plus points just on the opening, but unfortunately, that faded as the day went on. However, for uh, Carnival, they they ended up with a pretty darn good day uh, when it was all said and done. Take a look here at the uh, chart for Carnival over the last year, and you will see this: uh, the shares were as high as 51.94. Early this year, they were as low as 780 during the absolute crash of the markets in March. And then the shares had a partial recovery just before July. Uh, they got into the 25, 27 range, something in that range. And uh, now here in the last week, you can see they've been anywhere from 1330 last week up to 1930 yesterday. But right now, the shares are down almost two bucks a share. And why is that? Because Carnival has done the right thing. Thing. They have decided, hey, if the shares are going to go up to 19 bucks a pop, why don't we try to raise some more cash? Because cash is what this cruise line needs badly. So they have done a filing this morning with the SEC, notifying the SEC that they're going to the markets with what is called an at-the-market stock offering to try to raise $1.5 billion. Their attitude is, hey, if the buying public wants to buy cruise shares, ours included, we're going to give them stock from our treasury and put the money in the bank. Rather than let the shares just trade amongst themselves, we'll be sellers to the party and we'll put cash in our treasury. And the company needs it. Carnival is burning a ton of cash, just like these guys right here, Royal Caribbean. Between Royal Caribbean, Carnival, and Norwegian, the three big publicly traded companies, they are burning a minimum of one point one billion dollars per month to stay alive uh, carnival is in the 600 million range they have got to raise cash so 1.5 billion gets them a couple of extra months of life maybe three the bottom line is the cdc may have list, lifted the no sale order to allow cruise ships to sail again but uh, the cruise lines have come out and said, well, we're not going to sail until at least January the 1st. That was an additional two months the market was not expecting. And now with the change of administration in Washington going to happen at the end of January, it is likely the CDC will extend the shutdown even longer, probably until March or April of next year. That means all three of these cruise lines are going to be, in effect, not sailing for another five months from November till March, that's $5.5 billion extra cash that will be burned off just waiting for the chance to restart. And that's assuming there is going to be a vaccine widely available to all mankind. I, I cannot see the virus being available to most of us as, quote, casual travelers on cruise ships until really the third quarter of next year. I'm going to guess somewhere between August and November uh, next year is when the vaccine will be available. It, it, it takes you four weeks to get uh, vaccinated. You need two shots, the first one, and then 28 days later you get the second one. And so this is going to be a long, uh, laborious process. And don't forget, the cruise lines have to get their crews vaccinated. And these folks are from the Philippines, India, Indonesia. The logistics to set that up is going to be Herculean, to say the least. So for the cruise lines to be up and running by next fall, even with maybe 10 or 20% of their ships, could be quite the task. But we'll follow it in the meantime. The shares are back down a little bit. I think they're going lower uh, once the street really figures out the Herculean efforts these guys have to go through, and the shares will definitely go lower, in my opinion. But that 
remains to be seen. Thanks for watching me today with Stock Markets with Bruce. We'll keep you posted. Bye for now.